What's up guys? It's Ocean Man Fishing here and welcome to today's video. So it's been three months since I've started my channel and over that time I've gradually come to learn the do's and don'ts of how to film outdoor fishing videos. About three weeks ago I went fishing. The fishing was good, the filming was not. Here are the woes of a fishing YouTuber. Enjoy. So the first of my many issues was issues with GoPro. So GoPros are just like all tech devices and they are prone to failures, crashes, and file corruption. Um, GoPros are high processing devices and they produce a lot of heat. In warm weather, the combined heat of the, usually in the battery, and the outside temperature causes the GoPro to crash. This is very similar to the the device temperature is too high, please don't use the iPhone right now message that you may or may not get when, for example, using Google Maps in a really hot car. So when the iPhone crashes in heat, the only issue is that you can't use it at that moment. You wait for the device to cool down, and after it cools down, it's all cool. But when the GoPro crashes, all the footage on the SD card get corrupted and is you lose all your footage. So you get stuff like this. So a little bit of an update. Um, my GoPro like crashed and it wiped all my footage. So all of my footage that I just just did, just just and I just caught a two and a half pound smallmouth, is all gone now. I'm just gonna hope I can try to catch another one and redeem myself. Thankfully, in this case, I had some footage on my iPhone. Alright guys, this is it. Lake Washington smallmouth. Well, Lake Union. This is in the cut. It's a pretty big fish. Two and a half pounds. Pretty good. Let's move on to the second issue. Speech. Um, I caught that fish on this Chartreuse spinnerbait that I got at Cabela's for like $3. It was originally like a five, six dollar bait, but then Yeah, no, it's not gonna I don't think I don't think that same fish is up for a meal right now. What I meant to say was that I got it at the bargain bin. So see I'm doing it again. I think you guys have realized that I suck at talking to the camera. I stutter, I say like, uh, and pause my senses all the time. Um, to prevent this right now, I'm reading off of a script and I'm relying on post-production cuts and edits to cut out my uhs and errs. Right here. Let me stick this back on so I don't get lost again. Mm. Also, talking to the GoPro in public can be really awkward because they're because usually the places where I fish are parks and there are other people, and the people don't necessarily understand that YouTubers exist. So they're like, "What the hell is that guy doing?" So yeah, it can get pretty awkward. So when I like see or hear someone walking towards me, I can suddenly stop talking just so I don't face that awkward glare. Out on the field, I don't have a script, and also, I'm constantly looking for fish, so my focus is always split between talking to you guys and looking for signs of life for any sort of fish activity. So, my stuttering and so on get worse. I do it again, later. The toll bridge is going up. The bridge? I don't know if it's a toll bridge, but it's a bridge and it's going up. Sound like someone trying to increase the word count on their essay. Here's the rest of it. So what's interesting here now that since it periodically goes up and down, the shade cover changes here. So I could predict that there'd be some fish stuck here on a cyclic thing. I don't know, that'd be kind of weird, but. 
I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, the bridge has come back down. That's neat. Speech 100. Moving on. The GoPro faces a variety of issues when filming, such as angling, in this case towards the legs, bad audio from from wind or external noises or just straight up bumping the GoPro. The toll bridge is going up. And a short battery life. My GoPro has about two hours of battery life and my SD card fills up at three hours. Worrying about these things takes time away from me enjoying my time fishing. But don't worry, I still enjoy fishing and filming. So those are all my issues that I face in, during production, so during filming. More issues arise during post-production, which is the editing phase. One of which is not of B-roll footage. So what B-roll is, is when the footage and the audio are separate from each other. This is an example of a B-roll. I'm recording the audio from the comforts of my home, but the shot was taken on the scene. A problem for fishing YouTubers and B-roll shots is that B-roll usually requires a handheld camera to film cinematic shots, and that means your two hands are going to be occupied. So, filming B-roll means you can't fish, but if you fish, you can't film B-roll. So I guess you guys can see where the problem arises. Um, I have a hard time editing in general, mostly because of computer lag, which I've kind of sort of gotten used to at this point. And these aren't like real issues, but I'm always thinking about new ways of adding music, new editing compositions, special effects, um, meme inserts, I've heard that a lot of you guys enjoy them, um, and writing scripts, frankly, which I'm doing, which I'm reading off of right now and a variety of other head scratchers. Um, so these aren't really problems, it's just it's just up to me and my brain to think of something creative. Since I'm reading off of a script, sorry if I'm not making eye contact because I'm like constantly looking down and looking back up and looking down and looking back up. Anyway, um, remember these stresses are in addition to the already stressful conditions of fishing, such as Fish being uncooperative, like not catching fish is pretty stressful when your end goal is catching fish. Physical hazards that can ruin your gear, especially expensive camera gear because you're around water and uh, tech and water don't mix too well. Ooh. And various tackle issues such as snags, tangles, breakoffs tip wraps, backlashes, line twists, line reties, bad knots, and straight up breaking or losing gear. Which is sad because that's money lost and I'm a broke teenager. I guess it's a hard knock life. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. It's the hard knock life for us. It's the hard knock life.